Women are underrepresented in STEM courses and careers from high school through university and all the way into the workplace. I teach courses where only about 20% of my students are girls and only around 10% of my colleagues are women. There are lots of reasons for this underrepresentation. They include societal reasons as well as issues within the disciplines themselves. But the way that we teach and we assess is also contributing to this. We've looked at performance of girls and boys on physics tests in particular, and what we found is that boys do better on multiple choice tests than girls do. And when negative marking is involved, then the gap gets even bigger. When we look at the tests question by question, we find that there are particular things that the boys do better on. And these include kinematics questions, so that's questions about motion, and about projectile motion in particular. We also find larger gaps where the information is presented as diagrams, especially two and three dimensional information. But when we ask questions um, that require students to apply fundamental laws like conservation laws, we don't see a gender gap. And we see that girls do better on some things as well, logical reasoning, questions that are largely presented in words. We find that we can reduce the performance gaps when we use hands-on cooperative activities, and especially when we get students to create their own representations, including diagrams, visual representations, mathematical representations, and verbal or textual representations. And we find that this doesn't just increase the girls' performance, all the students do better and we reduce the gaps. So our Take to Class message for educators and for curriculum writers is to be aware of gaps and biases. Think about what you're trying to assess and make sure that that is what you're assessing and you're not inadvertently introducing unwanted biases. And if you're teaching, provide multiple representations and ideally get the students to create their own representations as well because we need more women in STEM.